Hey, what's up YouTube? It's your buddy on time back again. Running with my man Ice on this one. And uh, he and I, we said, wait, well, hey, let's get on some BO4. We ain't played that in a hot minute. Woo, I get crap on right off the giddy up. But uh, ain't no packet burst loss over here, guys. So that's probably the title of this one. And that's another subject that I'd like to talk about with packet burst loss. Uh, it seems to be in the new games, Modern Warfare, uh, Cold War, and recently Vanguard. Uh, a lot of the players are dealing with packet burst loss in the game where it's where it freezes and then comes back and it's like it's lagging or whatever to me I always called that lag and it may be something different but that was one thing about these older COD games that we don't have to deal with over here I mean there ain't no such thing as that I mean me and ice we played what nine ten twelve games of this last night and I'm telling you we had one of the funnest times. It was like playing BO3. We were getting 30, 40 kills every single game. I know all the sweats are on the newer games, guys. Trust me, I realize that. But, you know, when you've been playing with against skill-based matchmaking for such a long time, it's very refreshing to go back to a game that has it, but not has it to the extreme of the past three years in COD history we've been dealing with. Um, but yeah, that's, you know, we've always been told, you know, it's lag. And I'll tell you what lag would do in this game in particular, thinking about packet burst loss. Um, if we would be in a private, which we are right now, we couldn't hear what the, the opposition or even our teammates were saying. We were just catching up. I hadn't ran with ice and who has probably been about two or three weeks, maybe a week and a half, two weeks. And, uh just hadn't really got on and and our times you know schedules conflict but you know if we would be in a party chat and someone would want to join up into the party chat it would make the game lag real hard like it would, real hard and then once they got in the game would fix itself but that was a big problem with bo4 if i can remember correctly so it wasn't really packet burst loss but it was more or less something to do with the party private party chat and uh, it would just, if someone joined your y'all's private party chat, it would just lag real bad. It was almost annoying to the point where we had to put a, uh, a block where you had to, you know, send, send one of us a message to send you an invite rather than just joining up on the party chat because the game would lag so bad. Uh, you know, Slums, this is Slums remake from BO2. Uh, and I and I enjoyed this map when they remade it for BO4. Uh, definitely played very well. Um, so it was nostalgia to go back and play and you know these old school maps on the newer games. But you know along the lines with Cold War, they just about 70% of their content was remade maps, and I think they've used that to the point to a, it's a it's a clutch for them. You know. Um, to where they just depend on doing a remake map as part of the the map selection which they it, it, it's sad that they don't want to have original new uh maps put in the multiplayer game and that and and those be the new cool maps you know but they they just resorted back to regurgitating the same maps over and over and it gets kind of boring after a while honestly yeah the nostalgia plays for a little bit but I tell you, it's not that bad. Um, yeah, so me and Ice, like I said, we played last night, ran. We had a ton of fun. Uh, I actually got a game of Ice. Uh, he is exactly the, like this was the, the, like say our fifth game. And then the sixth game, right behind this game. And of course I had to go in theater mode to get it from his perspective. But he went off. And I was like, dang, man, you shit, Ice. I said, Are you mind if I upload that? He was like, no, nah, go ahead. So, yeah, the next gameplay I got. And I love rocking these uh, RPGs that lock on like this. I just took out a UAV and just took out a counter UAV. And, and of course, this was back in the day when they did score streaks, you know, because it was based off score. You, it would raise up to get to your next level of score, you know, kill streaks that they had for you. I was waiting for my buddy Ice to spawn back on this side. 
is we like to hold this side right over here down in particular but this side right over here is you could get middle and this couch right here on this arm of this couch boom makes a great little barrier whoa watch it young fella but yeah there ain't no uh packet burst loss over here which is a is an awesome feeling it also i don't catch packet burst loss on world war ii uh, even the older COD games like uh, Advanced Warfare and, and uh, Ghost and some of the older ones just didn't have those issues. And I think it's something to do with this new gen, cross gen games with uh, the new consoles and the older consoles. I really feel like that has something to do with why the, a lot of these you know games are having so many issues is because they're cross platformed and the code on it is not correct somewhere obviously because that's why we have so many problems I mean uh, they were somebody the other day I was watching a video I think it was Blame Truth he's reading off the list of, of bugs and problems that's in Vanguard and it's almost it's like hilarious like it's I feel sad for the people who have to deal with those problems but it's hilarious to hear all the different stuff that's happening in the game that's crazy you know um, but I love getting in this Manus by the way I've gotten to where I've getting in the Manus more and more here lately uh, the AI on it will just kind of meander along and if it comes across enemies it does something but uh, if you hold it down with this little thing you can actually I didn't want to push all the way into their spawn I love that at least give them that but if you could stay midpoint with this manis and catch them as they come out of their spawn, beautiful, beautiful, gotta love it. So I'm running Thresher, Manus, and Sniper's Nest to me and BO4. Those were the three best scores for each. That Sniper's Nest just, I mean, I've got videos of me getting 22 kills with that damn thing. It's amazing how how effective that score streak is and then you look at the score streaks today they just lackluster they're not very good you know these actually went in I mean my favorite set of score streaks was BO2 by all I mean sh there was such a big variation of score streaks and the score streaks that you used even like Guardian and Sentry which were low to mid level tier uh, score streaks they took a lot to kill like if they didn't have an EMP grenade uh, Sentry could wipe out the whole team one two three no problem um, oh oh and I think my dog gets six kills in this game well I, it's already passed by but that was pretty cool I hit it up 43 and five now, I don't know what's up with the score thing it will not let you I was trying to there it is okay and then I make play of the game dun 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 Put them on it, coach. Yeah. And Ice, I appreciate you running with you, man. I had a blast. Uh, I'm not, we have to do it again soon, but who knows when the time will be there for us, especially with Christmas coming up. Uh, here's Ice, Ice's gameplay. Actually, I was just wanting to see what my score streak. My Mantis only got two kills. I thought I got at least three or four. Thresher got five. And look at their Sniper's Nest. 11 kills. That's what's up, man. So anyway, we're gonna go right into Ice's gameplay. Uh, this is on, I think, Contraband or something. Yeah, Contraband. It's one of my better maps. We both, we were looking at our at the top. You know, it tells you what your, uh, I, which that's another thing that got away from. It tells you in the beginning of the game what your your KD is on this map. You know what I mean? And both Ice and I both had a four point something KD on this map. And uh, he was like, wow, that's crazy. Like this map has one of the higher KDs that I've got. I said, yeah, me too. I, I can't believe, like if you work this jungle side right here, like it, it's a real effective place. You could go back and forth from each side of the spawn. I think that's what Ice is doing. He's rocking the strobe light of justice, guys. That's what he uses in TDM. It's hilarious. Uh, but honestly, uh, that this gun right here, where if somebody calls a dog and you've got that gun out, I think it takes like three shots with that strobe light uh, shotgun. And you know, hell, I got it. Uh, I think I run the Spitfire on this one, and 
I put a whole cliff in that damn dog, and it still kills you. So it, it's like the best weapon to kill that dog that no man has is basically this shotgun that Ice is using. And Thunder also, shout out to 402 Thunder. He uh, he recently uploaded a video. I think him using this on uh, free for all. Um, and that's that's a that's the thing with with people like Thunder, man. They you know they're not gonna sit there and force themselves to play something they don't really want to. And he gets paid for it. That's per, that's the sad part. You would think you know he'd want to do more and more and more and more. But if he's not having a good time, what's the freaking point? Dang, hit him up and attack insert. Um, but yeah, I mean, we play old school COD games, man. We play, you know, World War II. We play BO4. We play BO3. Uh, I play Ghost, you know, solo now because no one else runs that with me. And I also play uh, Modern Warfare 2019 solo, you know, in free for all. That's still fun. I haven't been on it since they said some new. Uh, thing was introduced with the uh, Warzone map or whatever for Vanguard uh, they said that it broke all three of the games real bad uh, Cold War, Modern Warfare and Vanguard with their most current update and honestly I haven't been on, you know, well I don't have Vanguard but I haven't been on Cold War or uh, Modern Warfare 2019 that dude just sat there and watched his buddy die and then turn around and got killed. What an idiot. But, um, yeah, I hadn't tried it myself. And I know this. You know, if the game's buggy on all, all three of those games, and those are those, like I said, cross-gen games, the new-gen, cross-gen platform games, I think that's why they're having problems on that. And we're not having any of the pr problems on the older COD games. And there's still a, a pretty good fan base that plays these games. So, like, you, if you still a free for all or a TDM player, you know, you can still go in and get into these lobbies pretty quick and easy. We didn't have a problem. And Ice and I was partied up for the most of the night, you know, so it, we didn't have any problems finding lobbies or getting into games. It was pretty easy. And uh, I think that's my dog. I was rocking no man on this one. I think I, I did okay, but he definitely stole the light, the limelight from me. With, no pun intended with the strobe light of justice. Uh, that thing is a, it's a beast now. He'll wait till they get right up on him too. That's the crazy thing. I think he uses that perk six cents perk too. Look. That guy's got a counter to it. There is a perk that'll counter it. That guy's in that hole. He knows that. He's going to try to charge him. There he is. Got him. Oh, he had a boyfriend. Don't they always ice? Got him. In a way, this is. See how he, they spawn him out way away from me. I'm on the other side of the map. And that's the thing, if we're holding down a spot, look at this, one, two, three, four. He took four or five shots, but he kills the dog. See what I'm saying? No problem. I mean, how many times have y'all shot at it with a regular gun and just decimated the dog before it could get to you? I mean, unless it's been wounded by somebody previously, it's 90% of the time it's going to kill you. Unless you find a, a bed of water to jump into. Because it, it does not chase you in water. That's one thing that I found to counter it. Like, you could go down in this water in the middle and not even have to go far away. That dog will stop before you, it gets to the water. So, it's just, that's the cool thing about that dog. Um, Christmas is right around the corner. Uh, I think we're only just a few, like, not very long away from it. So, want to wish everybody a happy new year. Happy Christmas, happy holidays, uh, whatever you're, you know, you s s celebrate or uh, as your traditions. Oh, he picks up a, a, what is that? Man, I forget all these guns, man. It's, it's how, of course, he reverts right back to the shotgun. That thing, I'm telling you, close quarters, you don't stand a chance. He's chasing. Bunny hopping. Bullshit. He even got the bunny rabbit suit. You know he's going to be a, a bunny hopping fool. 
that's the cordite. That's what that. I'm. I was sitting there thinking, what weapon is that? I mean, some of these weapons you forget, especially after a few years go by. It's like there's so many weapons in Call of Duty in general. Whoa! How many rounds he got? Oh, he don't have the extended rounds on this one. Ice, if you come by, put down what attachments you used for your shotgun. It doesn't show us in theater mode. And obviously, I know you don't have like the big extended mag ones because you only have 10 rounds. You got the strobe light, I know that. Sniper's nasty, he calls in twice. That's what they say. I think I called it in once earlier on or maybe right after this one. So you hit that swim route. So he busts this dude while he's up on the thing. Hit marker. Oh, of course, that's his sniper's nest going in. They chasing, ain't they? Yeah, we had two great games back to back. Me and, me and Ice. I mean, we was just like, oh, I didn't know that was a bad guy. He was lit up. And that was another thing they're complaining about is fashions from uh, as far as the the differences between a bad guy and a good guy like the good thing about this game and even bo3 is like the bad guy would light up they had lights and stuff that would light up and let you see them i mean some of these dark spots even on this bright bright map uh you could get in a corner or in a crevice and if you if you you had those lights on they're gonna shine and you're gonna see the enemy so you couldn't really like get in dark areas and hide in this game because like I said see how bright of course everybody picks these I don't know where they get these skins from but they get these colorful bright skins that say hey look at me and it makes it so easy they don't understand so easy to kill them and they pay twenty dollars for it which is bananas like I wanna I if I'm gonna pay for a skin which I ain't bought a skin in so long but if I would buy a skin it'd be a gill suit you know Something that looks like a bush, you know. No bright colors to it at all. Preferably green, brown, and gray. Some shade of wow. That see, that's where you're at the disadvantage with a shotgun. You know, somebody with a ranged weapon, they can reach out and touch you. The game's wrapping up, or is it getting close? Yeah, we I think we got like 91, 92. We're fixing a one. I mean, we ran through it, man, didn't we? I was having fun with that Spitfire on this one. See, look, two, three. See, that's the second dog he's killed. I'm telling you, that shotgun, it's a, it's, that dog don't stand a chance. But if that, if you rocking any kind of other weapon, I don't know if there's any other shotgun or any other LMG or sniper that kills it like that. He was about to do the gravity spike. Turn down. <laughs> He was, you shut him down, Ice. He was about to do the gravity spike on you. And time's wrapping up. Tell me we have, Oh, yeah, he gets last kill. dun 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 What'd you finish up with, Ice? 40 and 5. Just trying to stay alive. Well, guys, that means my time's up. I wish everyone a happy holidays. Till next time, I'm on time, guys. And I'm out.